The game is on. The Bruins with a chance to leapfrog Detroit on points in the standings. Raymond's shot blocked out of there by Grizzlick to Pasternak. And he tries the wrong foot. Nedeljkovic almost pulled it off. Back against the grain. Lazar snaps the pass to DeBrusque. Ronick bats it away. Halla glides over the line, sends Riley in. Oh, pulled Nedeljkovic off the short side, and Nedeljkovic left the shoulder behind. Fourth line, even though DeBrusque can't get to it, the follow-up by Halla, playing with pace tonight, attacks the blue line, allows Riley to walk down that left wing side. Coyle regroups at his own line. Off the skate of Zadina. Suter to Sedina, he scores! Philip Sedina breaks the ice. And then Coyle tries to make a pass across the ice. It gets knocked down and you can see the finish to the line change. Suter had to wait just long enough to replace his man. And when he does, he makes a nice little chip saucer pass. Zadina's got the advantage because of the turnover by Boss and protects the puck well. It's a simple move. Now Larkin bounces it through to Lucas Raymond. The rookie off to Tyler Bertuzzi. Save off Raymond. Omar can't find the puck. Now I got to look at where McAvoy is, Jack. You know, he joined the rush. Hall made a nice little drop pass to him, but the play kind of died on the vine. And, you know, he circled back. He gets in good shape. But then he tries to make that steal at the offensive blue line. Felino has the puck scored off his forehand. Grizzlick saves it on the line. Craig Smith cross ice. Coyle, a kick save. Nedeljkovic. Carlo tried to paddle it through. Guns it across the goal mouth. Craig Smith blocked by Letty. Pressure on the Red Wings. They just don't have that finishing touch. They're not clean when they get their opportunities. It's a pretty good shot right there by Charlie Coyle. Bergeron keeps going. And Nedeljkovic cannot be beaten yet. Bergeron kind of misfires, but he pursues the puck. He gets in tight. Larkin speeds into the Boston zone. Bertuzzi, the one-timer, and Olmark the save. See the far side of your screen. They're making a line change lock, and they're at that great speed. Quick re-entry. This is a good save by Olmark. Bronick flattens it. The wrist shot tipped, a bounce past Suter, an opportunity off the post by Letty. That looked like it at the crossbar, came right down by the goal line and spun back out. Polino holds off Gagne, Hall around the boards, Pasternak hustles to the puck, McAvoy to Bergeron, to Hall closes, the shot, a juicy rebound, bounces past Pasternak. Nice play at the blue line by Pasanov. Quick pass McAvoy into the bump of this Bergeron. Now Hall's at the dot. He tries to rip one up by that left ear with Foligno working the top of the blue paint. Nedeljkovic has to look around Foligno. Forbert slaps it hard to Hall. To Pasternak tried to toss the bean bag over Nedeljkovic's shoulder. That's a hard play to handle down the wall for Taylor Hall, but he handled it. Hall, McAvoy. Pasternak's bomb, a juicy rebound right back to Pasternak. McAvoy. Hall closes, fires, loose in the crease, and Nedeljkovic snuffs it out. They have the Pasternak drive. Hall takes the puck to the net. They're overplaying the play. Pasternak circles into the zone. Hall to Pasternak in the corner, back to Coyle, down to a knee, taps to McAvoy, 10 seconds to go in the five on three, Hall closes, Pasternak scores! Hall short pass to Bergeron, it changed the geometry and opened the seam for Pasternak's bullet. It's tied. You gotta love the way the Bruins attacked on the five on three, they had a shot mentality. They give all kinds of different looks. 
but they put pucks on goal and they were quality scoring chances. They were looking for Pasenak as often as they possibly could because he's your best finisher. And a nice pass by Hall by attacking the net, changing the angle as you point out, Jack. That time Hall attacked the net. It opened up a nice seam pass to Bergeron. Hall to Pasternak! Bats it out of the air, and Delkovic makes a big save. Larkin mashes McAvoy, but he takes the hit. Taylor Hall closes, goes right to goal, and mashes into Nedeljkovic. That will be no goal. Goaltender interference. And then as he crashed the net, there wasn't a ton of body contact with Nedel Nedeljkovic. But he was able to dance that puck around Letty. Detroit, a young roster playing well. Hola on the Delkovic. That's staying in it. Lazar seeing his first ice time of the third period. McAvoy batters it off the boards. Letty to Ronick. The bomb goes over the goal. No shots on goal, but that shot cuts all the way through to Olmark. Still loose in the goal mouth. Riley takes it out and he's going to go for cross checking Rasmussen. Nemesnikov loose in front. And who but Mark Stahl puts the Red Wings ahead 2 1. For the Detroit Red Wings, because of the reaction by Mike Riley right there. He didn't like the fact that he got taken down. He thought it was done illegally. He came back, lost his goal. He's going to be guilty of the cross check. The Red Wings got the extra attacker on the ice. And Stahl just creeps in from that point position in a rotation by Detroit. Puck to the net. The puck going to deflect, I believe, off Rasmussen. And Stahl's going to be able to get to that puck first before Ulmer can dive across. The Bruins ice time totem pole and one shot on goal. Nemestikov tries to wrap around. Olmark is wise to it. Gagne pops it off his stick. Felino gets in the way. Gagne. Rasmussen with an empty goal. I I think I heard a tink off the crossbar. It's for the Red Wings to put this game away. Rasmussen has the second one. That's going to get the crossbar. And the Red Wings will stay ahead of the Bruins in the standings. 2-1 the final from TD Garden.